Dr. Toastmaster. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much, Karen, for that speech. It was a great, um, just a funny speech, light in the mood. It was um, really enjoyed it. Um, first, I'd like to delineate some of the things that I really enjoyed about this speech. First of all, it was very well organized from the moment you got up here and started talking we knew exactly what your speech was going to be about um, the purpose of it and what to expect and then there was a very definite uh, meat of the speech where you really went into the different um, things that us women tend to say which is very everything you said was right on the money and then your conclusion, I knew that that's what you were getting to. You were concluding, you were giving us some uh, closing remarks, and I thought that overall was very well organized. Another thing was that this was speech number six. It was a speech for demonstrating vocal variety, and you definitely did that, uh, especially when you were delineating the differences between um, when a woman says, you know, thank you, versus, Thanks a lot. There's definite speech pattern difference there, and you made that abundantly clear for all of us in demonstrating that, which was very important. Also, your use of pauses. Um, you had a very funny material there, and I noticed that after you would give a punchline after each phrase or word, you paused and you gave us the time to all laugh as we all were doing, and that was a good effect as well. Um, but Overall, as I've sort of alluded to, the best part of the speech was the humor. You really took a subject that everyone in this room could relate to. I mean, we all either are women or are married to women or have been in relationships with women <laughs> <laughs> in some you know, form or way. So we can understand where you're coming from and either identify it in ourselves, guilty as <laughs> or identify it in, the one, in our loved one's um, relationships. So. It was definitely good fodder for a funny material. Um, possibly some of the things to think about. Um, you mentioned the lip smack, and there was a very definite lip smack in the middle, but there was only one, so definite improvement there, and just something to consider. And also possibly maybe um, getting the lectern out of the way, maybe work on that for your next one, and moving forward and, and coming out to engage with all of us to work on. But overall, it was a well-organized speech. You definitely met the purpose of the speech, which was vocal variety. And it was incredibly funny. And I just can't wait to hear your next one, Karen. Thank you so much.